Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video of the uh, showing the inside of the deck here on the bow of my uh, Buccaneer 18, Chrysler Buccaneer 18. Um, pretty sure this is a 79. Um, I watch a lot of Charles Bronog's videos. I, I really appreciate everything he does. I noticed he mentioned on one of them, um, talking about the buck, that it's, uh, there's, there's no wood on it. There's, there's no coring, but I, I think his model is, I believe a little older than mine. Um, but on, so on this 79 and I'm pretty sure this is original. I don't think anybody came in here and messed with it, but <clears throat> you can see there it is core. That's wood. It, it looks like plywood. Um, and on mine, it's, it's delaminated here. I mean, the layup on, on the top sheet here is, is pretty thick. Here, I've got a little better. Uh, this is the piece I cut out. I'm, I'm putting a, um, a fair lead here um, to, to run my furling line under the deck. Um, so you can see here, that's the fiberglass is pretty thick there. Sorry for the poor video. Let's see what that is. That's a good quarter inch um, of fiberglass. And then, oh, I'd say they probably use three quarter ply. Um, I'm missing a little piece of wood there um, on the bottom. And it doesn't, I mean, it's not wet right now, mine, but uh, it feels a little soft, like it probably was wet at some point. Um, I think one of the previous owners, you know, came in and reinforced here at the bow, as you should. They they put, the way they did it was, um, you can see, I'm pretty sure this is also ply, and I don't think, there's no fiberglass on this. I think they just glued it in place and uh, screwed it from the top, and I don't like those screws up on the deck, so I'm going to take all these out and redo that but so they have a vertical member going here and then two horizontal members I, I think these are one by fours two going this way and then another vertical one going this way and they're all glued and screwed together and then this um eye is just through bolted right here through these two horizontal members um i'll probably actually do the same thing run a one by four and I, I thought a lot about this. I'm probably just going to use pressure treated pine. Um, I'm, I'm down here in Texas and that stuff's readily available and cheap. I looked at white oak and it's just pricey. So I'm going to run a vertical one by four here. And then the same distance, I think that's three inches. I'm going to do three inches here. So bring it in a little bit and then two horizontal. And then I'll probably do like a mortise and tenon right here on the, bottom one and you know slip it into this other member and then I'll, I'll do the same i'll glue them all in place epoxy right here and then um i've got a little fiberglass and epoxy and i'll probably just tab it all in i don't know i'll probably wind up wrapping it all but it's kind of a pain to work on under here um my boat i've seen some others are open here in the bow mine is all enclosed which is nice for the water tight of it um but makes it makes it pretty difficult to work inside here but uh yeah anyways i just wanted to to show that since i had this deck open um my deck has a lot of soft spots it, it's mostly all soft um so i was always curious what that looks like i knew it was cord um I just didn't know how it looked, but it's not too bad. But yeah, that's mine. Good little D-lamb gap in there, quarter inch of gap. Um, but I'm glad to see how thick that top sheet is. At the bottom, the bottom sheet, the fiberglass on the bottom's real thin. I don't know if I. Yeah, it's it, that's it right there. That's well, just shy of an eight, probably three sixteenths is uh that bottom sheet so um 
yeah anyway sorry for the poor video but uh hopefully somebody finds that helpful